Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 20 Liverpool career mode. Now before we get into today's episode, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the support on the channel and as always guys, at the start of today's episode, we're quickly going to look at the games that lie ahead. Up first, for finishing off the month of October in 2020, we're taking on Spurs away from home in the Premier League. We then move into the month of November, where on the 3rd we take on FC Porto, this time away from home in the group stages of the Champions League. And then to finish on today's episode, a massive game against the blue side of Manchester, Pep Guardiola and co, when we face off against Manchester City, away from home also in the Premier League. Very, very difficult couple of games in today's episode, but I did set out in Season 2 to put the Premier League as my main priority. Of course, you guys know from Season 1, we did win the Champions League. My focus is is all on the Premier League this season. Of course, I'd love to go as far as we can in the Champions League. I'd love to potentially win it and get the double with the Champions League and the Premier League. But my heart and focus has to go on the Premier League this year. So we will be playing the Spurs game, simulating the game against FC Pause, and we just keep our fingers crossed that we can get the win. And then, of course, play Manchester City away from home at the Etihad Stadium. But before we get into today's episode, there's a couple of things we need to talk about. A... Well, I haven't recorded a Liverpool episode in around two weeks. I've been so focused on another series that you guys have probably seen, which is Calm Club. My pro clubs team and Calm Club, for you guys that don't know, comes from my clothing brand, Calm Clothing. Now, obviously, it's been a great, great three trial sessions that we've had. The team was just announced last week. It's been absolutely insane. I've enjoyed doing it. But it's took up a lot of my time. On a Sunday like it is today, I would usually record a Liverpool career mode or a Dortmund career mode episode. But the last three weeks, I've been recording pro clubs with the guys trying out. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. Then in the week, I've been spending a lot of time editing the videos to put together. Obviously, I put out session one and session two. And then I put out a video announcing the squad. So I haven't really, after I finished the Dortmund career mode, since I finished season one there... All my time's been put into this brand new series, and I can only apologise to you guys that don't watch that series and are here for the Dortmund cream mode and the Liverpool cream mode. I do apologise. I am back on track. Now the team's been announced, I'm looking forward to going with a schedule for what we're going to be doing with the pro clubs and get back on track with the Liverpool and Dortmund cream mode. So again, I can only apologise for not having a video out to you guys sooner. But the last episode, we'll look over the comment section, but it was titled, Our Worst Performance Yet. And that's because we played Arsenal and drew 0-0. We played Porto at home and drew 1-1. And then luckily enough, the simulated game against Leicester, well, we managed to beat them 3-0. But in the two games I played, it was a 0-0 draw and a 1-1 draw. And that just isn't good enough. But you guys will also know that ultimate difficulty has gone through the roof. It's ridiculous now. So we've been trying out sliders and different techniques, which if you guys haven't watched my slider video, go and check out. It's called FIFA 20 How to Fix Ultimate Difficulty if you are having problems yourself. But I finally feel, after a couple more tries, I've got the right balance. And I'm hoping we're going to see that in today's episode. But before we dive into today's episode... Let's head over to the comments from the last episode. So first comment coming in from Gage Whittaker. Brilliant video again. Can't believe it was a draw against Arsenal. You deserve a win. Love the video, Brad. From what I remember, although this was now two weeks ago, we had a chance in the 89th minute with Minamino and we put it wide. So I agree, Gage. From what I remember about that game, we probably should have got the win. Unfortunately, it was a nil-nil draw. It was a bit harsh, but we'll go again and hopefully get some wins in today's episode. Comment coming in from Ethan saying, yet again, these videos are getting better and better. Generally, these videos make my day. There's no other YouTuber who's as enthusiastic as you. You'll never walk alone, Brad. And as you're hearing this, I can't believe Man City might be in League 2. Well... Man City are not going to go to League 2, but if you guys haven't heard, Manchester City have been banned from the UEFA Champions League for the next two seasons. Do I personally think that's going to stick? Definitely not. I definitely think they're going to go against it. They're going to put a case together, and they're certainly not going to be booted out for two years. That's without a doubt. And Ethan, thank you so much. I'm glad that you feel there's no other YouTuber as enthusiastic as me. I'm sure there's plenty of YouTubers out there, but that is something that I do with this game. I put my heart, I put my soul, I put my passion into it. And obviously, it shows that you guys can notice it at home. So, thank you so much, Ethan. Next comment coming in from Ewe. Again, four in a row. Well done, Ewe. You have been smashing it. I think you did get five in a row. And then you weren't the first comment. But don't worry, your support is absolutely unreal. And I appreciate all the comments that you do leave. Hassan saying, by the way, did you see the Liverpool game against Atletico Madrid? Yes, unfortunately. I think it was our worst performance since the United and Everton game in 2019. Well... His next comment, which I'll, I may as well talk about now, is, but I still think we'll win at Anfield. 
Yeah, Let's Go Madrid was a poor game, but I'm sure if Hassan was here right now, he would say the game we played yesterday against Watford where Liverpool have just lost for the first time in a very long time. We lost 3-0, not a 1-0, not a 2-1, a 3-0 loss. It could have been 4-0, to be honest. Um, I can't remember his first name, but Saar did score two and he nearly had a hat-trick and Troy Deeney scored, so it could have really been four. Hats off to Watford, they played very good football, but for me... Not to take anything away from Watford, Liverpool played the poorest they've played in a very long time. The thing for me is we had this little week break off where all the players got to go on holiday and relax. That week has done us no favours because since then we've played Norwich and only just managed to win 1-0. We lost to Atletico Madrid 1-0. We've lost to Watford 3-0. That break next year cannot happen. The lads need to stay and stay focused because it looks like since that holiday their mind is elsewhere and it's just not doing us any favours what so ever next comment and coming in from rectify saying quality video mate thank you so much rectify i appreciate it and finally last comment coming in from hassan again saying 10 out of 10 for the video thank you so much hassan i am glad you are enjoying the content it seems a lot of you guys are still enjoying the content and again i'll just apologize for not bringing content to you guys sooner but now we can swing back around we know what we've got lined up for today's episode we're playing the spares game away from home we're playing FC Porto, or sorry, we're simulating FC Porto in the Champions League and just hoping, 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 hoping that we can get a win there. And then we face off against Manchester City at the Etihad. Of course, I will now get ready to play the game in Spurs. I don't do all the press conferences anymore, so I will do it all, but I cut it out and you guys will be seeing the lineup in just a moment's time. So I've just done the press conference and one of the questions is, do we see how we have started this league fading out and us starting to slow down and the answer to that is no we've played 10 games nine wins under the belt one draw we've been playing some incredible football and i'm hoping we can continue that when we play spares and city in the premier league in today's episode but we have gone with sadio Mane out on the left wing bobby firmino striker Salah out on the right wing Gino is now done linking up with henderson in the central midfield roles a little deeper we've got fabinho in the central defensive midfield and then robertson and van dyke gomez and trent at the back with allison between the sticks i have noticed that van dyke from the previous episode does currently have the captain's armband we'll be handing that back to Jordan Henderson someone that is currently injured in real life for Liverpool but certainly shown to be a massive impact with the way we're playing at the moment we need Jordan Henderson back at the heart of the midfield but let's get into this game against Spurs it feels so strange that I haven't done this type of video I haven't done me playing FIFA with a webcam. I've just been recording the screen, no webcam, and playing pro clubs with Calm Club. Now I'm back to this. It's like riding a bike. I've started off a little bit weary. I've had to take a couple of takes, which you guys won't see. I'll edit out, of course. But it is like riding a bike. I'm starting to get my gist back. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting back into the rhythm. And hopefully, I can make an incredible episode for you guys. Come on, Liverpool. We've got this. It's been two a weeks. I haven't played the Liverpool cream mode in two weeks. I'm hoping I'm not going to be too rusty. I have been playing the Dortmund career mode. I have been playing pro clubs. Although pro clubs and the Dortmund career mode very different to how this Liverpool team plays. Dortmund are very direct. Liverpool are very on the counter. Pro clubs are players one player, not the whole team. But I am excited to get into this game. I think it is going to be Spurs getting us kicked off. And it is with Spurs kicking left to right. Let's get it on the way. And come on, Redman. Let's look for Bobby Firmino. Ball in. Bobby Firmino on this one, coming across, Bobby's going to get this, clear the way, only as far as Genie who's going to take it on the volley, and it's well over the bar, and a disappointing effort from Genie Wijnaldum. Ball forwards, let's go Fabinho, you've got to stay on Harry Kane, I'm glad we've got Kane this far out though, somehow put the ball in, it's going to come to Semedo, it's a great save from Allison. let's take a push on now, Henderson's wanting to go here, if Henderson wants to keep going, I'll play that through. Ah, it's a great ball through there to Henderson, who's hopefully going to get away from these Spurs defenders. Henderson to hit it. What has Jordan Henderson just achieved there? He got it closer to the corner flag than the goal. Very, very disappointing from the skipper there. He should be putting it on target. He should be challenging Lloris, and he doesn't do that. Genie going to mark up. Nice done ball. Play it down long. Let's get there. Let's get rid of it. Henderson's there. And out now to Mo Salah, who should be able to get away from Sanchez. Here comes Mo Salah. And we are charging now at these Spurs defenders. Here comes Mo Salah. I'm going to look for Fabinho on the edge of the box. Little behind him. In now to Mane. Mane! Oh, it's wide the goal. Ball into the middle. Van Dijk's got to get there. Well done, Van Dijk. It's Fabinho. Out now to Mo Salah. Mo Salah looks a turn. And Ben Davies is going to take it again. 
Lads, we need to get this ball and just get rid of it. Ben Davies into the middle for Christian Eriksen. Ball to Deli Ali, and thankfully the referee is going to blow for half time. I'm not sure what came over Spurs there, but the last 10, 15 minutes, they really dominated. They dominated possession, they dominated shots. They really come at us and uh, applied a lot of pressure. We cannot afford for that to happen in this second half. We need to get the grasp on this game. We need to start playing football. I'm going to look at how the stats are. Five shots, two on target. They've had four shots, four on target. 61% possession to Spurs. Us only having 39. We need to start having more of the ball. And we certainly need to do more with it. I am going to get back into the second half with Bobby Firmino kicking us off. We know what we need to do. We need to keep the ball, pass the ball, and we need to find that very important goal. Ball coming in. Robertson's got to get there. Get rid of that Gomez. It's come to Marlos. It's a great save for Marlison. And Spurs have come out with exactly the same attitude. Out to Henderson. Henderson holding the ball for Trent on the overlap. Here comes Trent now. Let's go into Bobby. Nicely done. Bobby going to hold this ball. Play through now to Jordan Henderson. Beautiful. Genie towards the back post. Slide it in. And Deli Ali's going to get there ahead of Genie. Wow. It's a free kick on the edge of the box. And Eriksen is going to be over this one. And this could end up in the back of the net. This could end up in the back of the net. Christian Eriksen. Gomez clears it off the line. Genie clears it out. And that would have ended up in the back of the net. I knew it was going to happen. Genie in now to Minamino. He's going to drop the shoulder. It is Minamino. Back now. Minamino's getting fouled there. Come on, ref. How are we not getting anything there? Back to Minamino. In now to Genie. Genie going to hit first time. He gets taken out and Hugo Lloris saves. Come on, Wilson. Let's go, son. Well done, Wilson. Let's go now and play it up to Minamino. Round the corner to Harry Wilson. And we could be gone here. Manny's sticking with me. Harry Wilson's still going here. Come on, here comes Harry Wilson now. Harry Wilson on the inside, looking for Manny. Hugo Lloris saves. Unbelievable. Go to Minamino, go to Minamino. Minamino, get through, son. Minamino! Oh, how's he not been fouled there? And the referee's going to play for full time. Wow. I don't understand how Spurs still had so much energy. Like, Van Dyke is normally an absolute beast. Oh, green screen's moved slightly. Van Dyke is normally a beast, and his energy lasts forever. He was like 20% fitness. Fabinho, man of the match, for us with a 7.8, that's poor. And unfortunately, we can't see the energy that was left. But I mean, that that was crazy. We really struggled there. We only had 40% of the ball. Maybe that's why we were so knackered and didn't have much energy, because we were constantly trying to chase the ball down. But I have never, ever in my FIFA 20 career had that as an issue. If that continues in today's episode, maybe I have to look at making even further tweaks because we should not be that tired. Well, this is certainly going to be a challenging game. Not only have we now dropped down to second position, we're actually about to face off against first position. We are joint technically top with Manchester City, but that means they are top because of goal difference. We're now about to face off against them at the Etihad Stadium. It's really one that we have to win. We've dropped points against Spurs at the start of today's episode. And Manchester City have capitalised on that. We now can't afford to drop any more points against Manchester City. Because we give them that little edge. I will not be surprised if they push on and don't stop. A bit like what Spurs done in the first season. They got about a 2-3 point gap. And then it just went and went and went. And they grew it all the way to like 10 points. Then we started getting a few wins back. And they were dropping points. And by the end of it, unfortunately, we did lose out by 6 points. Two wins that we needed. And they needed to lose twice. It's only early on into the season at the moment. This is only going to be our 12th game in the Premier League. We can't afford for a team like Manchester City to start getting the momentum behind them. And start pushing on and potentially not look back. So this game is huge. We are going with Sadio Mane out on the left wing, Bobby Firmino striker Salah out on the right wing, Gini Wijnaldum linking up with the captain Jordan Henderson in the central midfield, a little deeper, we've got the Brazilian man Fabinho in the central defensive midfield, and then Robertson van Dijk, Gomez and Trent at the back with Alisson between the sticks. It's an important game, it's an important win, so let's get it on the way and hopefully get just that.
Come on, Liverpool, we've got to play better than we did against Spurs. I mean, realistically, City are probably a much stronger team than Spurs. So if we're going to struggle to get a goal against Spurs and even struggle to, you know, sometimes stop them putting the ball in the back of the net. And the fact that City could go top of the league here, clear by potentially three points. And we're away from home. Everything right now is stacked against us. But for me, that's where I strive to win. When all the odds are stacked against me, I will turn up and we will do damage. It is going to be the Manchester City kicking us off from left to right in this first half period. Let's get it on the way. And come on, Liverpool. Genie to Mane. Mane to Fabinho. Mane. Bobby. Bobby the little back here there to Jordan Henderson. There we go. Well, his shot against Southampton, Southampton, his shot against Spurs was absolutely ridiculous. It was so poor. It was closer to the corner flag than it was to the goal. But what a stunning strike there. Beautiful ball in there to Bobby Firmino, who flicks it off backwards to Jordan Henderson, who's making the run away from the Manchester City midfielder. And he just smashes that one home. Thomas Muller tracked all the way back, but didn't track Henderson enough to stop us now taking the lead. It's 1-0. And it's only been nine minutes. That is a better start, Liverpool. Is De Bruyne. Let's go. Let's get a foot in there now. Slide in for that Gomez. Great tackle. Oh, come on, ref. What? What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to Brad Varia. What is going on there? Because for me, Joe Gomez got the ball. So at this point now, the ball's coming through for De Bruyne. Right, slide in. Slow it right down for you guys. Right, slide in. And I definitely, let's spin it around the other side. Or did I miss that ball? I have missed that ball. Okay, so I've gone in, studs up, maybe. Oh, did my heel touch that ball? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section, is that a red or not? The brilliant hits the ball. I don't know if it hit, and then I follow through and take him out. Mm, maybe I don't get to that ball. It looked like I did, maybe because the ball changed direction, but it looks like it's because the brilliant Pass the ball over to Sergio Aguero and I'll follow through with Joe Gomez. What do you guys think? After a second take on that, I think uh, I think I may have caught the player. All we need to do now is drop Fabinho back for Gomez and just lose that central defensive right. midfielder. The Bruyne is going to be over this one. Here's Robertson looking for Bobby now through there. It's beautiful. Here's Bobby Firmino onto his right foot. Looks to bend one. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, I thought that was going in. I suppose that's what I get for trying to celebrate a little bit too soon there. Go to the keeper. No pressure yet. And they go to Van Dijk. Beautiful Van Dijk through the middle. We've given away. Thomas Muller through on goal. It's a mistake from myself with Virgil van Dijk. And Man City capitalise. Fair play, Thomas Muller. He gets a chance and he makes sure it counts. They tried to play it between two players. I thought I'd be able to get it through. Thomas Muller intercepts. And smashes that one past Allison. It's 1 1. And City are back in it. Go on, Genie. Keep moving some. Here's Rodri. It's a terrible pass. Henderson going to pick that one up. And here comes Genie now. Let's go wide now to Bobby. I have no idea why Bobby didn't start moving. Here comes Marcelo. Bobby threw a goal. Bobby Firmino. It's a great save again from Edison. What have we got to do here to find a second? Why? Again, we've got Mo Salah. On this side, I don't know. But the referee's now going to play for half-time at the Etihad Stadium. Mo Salah needs to learn to stay in his position. I have no idea why he's pushing over the left side so much. It can't happen. I need him out there for when we get them on the counter-attack. If no one's out there, we're going to struggle. Fitness right now looking a lot better than it did against Spurs. So hopefully we can continue that. And maybe having a little bit more of the ball is why we struggled so much. A little back here there. Van Dijk Allison's got it. Go out wide now, looking for Manny going here. Come on, Manny, you've got to go, son. And Manny's going to get to that, you know. What a ball to Sadio Manny, who's going to cut back now. 
Here's Mane. Still coming. Mane. Bobby. Yes, it's 2-1. Is it going to be offside, though? Is it? It's not. Come on. What a goal. And what a ball from Allison to get Sadio Mane in behind. How is Bobby not offside here? Did he stay on? Oh, he's... Oh, he just moved at the right time, you know. He just moved as Marcelo come for the ball. And he sticks up between the legs of Edison. We've taken the lead 2-1. And honestly, I didn't even expect that myself. Muller trying to get on the better side of Van Dijk. Don't let it happen. Well done, Van Dijk. Ball out now to Genie. Let's go straight up now to Sadio Mane. Mane needs to go here now to Mo Salah. This is beautiful. Mo Salah going to Henderson. Got Mo Salah through the middle now. And here comes Mo Salah. Mo Salah threw a goal. I'm going to square it across. Genie was down there. 3-1. Game over, City. Ball up now to Navikita. Beautiful. Up to Neres. Into Bobby Firmino. Over this far side to Henderson. We've now got Wilson. Who's wanting to get on the better side. Go on, Wilson. Let's cut it back. Onto his left foot. Harry Wilson. Henderson's there. It's 4-1. How has that just happened then? It's offside. Let's not celebrate too early this time, Brad. It's offside. But how we could have just went from 1-1 for the majority of this game to nearly 4-1. It's a great shot there from Harry Wilson. It's a shame he doesn't get on the score sheet. We've played a lot better in these last couple of minutes, that's for sure. And as Rodri brings that ball down, it's over. The referee blows the final whistle. We've beaten, excuse me, we've beaten City 3-1. Unlucky Pep, you're a fraud. They've splashed the cash. On Marcelo at left back. Muller at centre forwards behind Aguero. They splashed the cash. And they couldn't beat the mighty Reds. Eight shots, six on target for us. Six shots, five on target for them. Pretty level when it comes to stat-wise. They had a little bit more possession. We had one extra shot on target. Two extra shots. Pretty, pretty level. But on the day, we were a lot more clinical with how many we put in the back of the net. Bobby Firmino picks up man of the match with a 9.3 rating. And finally, I felt then we were getting into the string of things. And in the next episode, the games don't stop getting any more difficult or any more bigger. The last four games will have been Spurs, Porto, City, and now we're playing the red side of Manchester, the Red Devils, Manchester United. Ollie's at the wheel, so after how we've just played against Pep's team, I'm very excited to see the damage we can do to Manchester United. We will, as we come to the end of today's episode, look at the games that lie ahead. We are at home to Manchester United. We then take on the current, as far as I know, which I'll take a look at in a minute. They were current until they played Napoli. We don't know what happened there, so we'll check it. But I'm going to say it anyway. The current Champions League group leaders, PSV. And then we take on the Hammers, forever blowing bubbles, West Ham away from home as we travel down to London. So for me, we'll be playing the Manchester United game because that's a massive game. We'll be playing the PSV game because they are potentially still top of the Champions League group and we need to get a win there to make sure we get through to the knockout stages. And then we'll take the risk in simulating the game against West Ham away from home. But I'm hopeful we should be able to do a job over them. So the two things we'll check is firstly, where are West Ham in the league? The fifth. Wow, Manchester United are in 7th, West Ham are in 5th. West Ham are doing a lot better than Manchester United right now. So maybe as a think before we get into the next episode, and maybe we'll switch that round and play Manchester, uh, simulate Manchester United and then play the West Ham game. We'll have to wait and see. But let's take a little look at the UEFA Champions League group. What happened with Napoli and PSV? Napoli beat PSV 2-1, meaning us and Napoli are now top on 7. PSV are second technically on 6. And Porto still down in bottom place with only two points. So really that game against PSV is massive because it's probably going to come down to the fact if we beat PSV, we'll go up to 10. I do believe Napoli will beat Porto, so they'll go up to 10. If we get to 10, there's no way in this world we can not get through to the group stages because Napoli would be on 10 after beating Porto. We would be on 10 after beating PSV if it happens. Then PSV for the last game will take on Porto. Now, let's say PSV, who are currently four points ahead of Porto, get the win. They can move up from six to nine, but they can't get to ten. So then it just comes down to that final game when we take on Napoli as to who's going to finish first in the group and who's going to finish second. 
So I think we do need to play that PSV game to just give us that secureness so we can potentially just simulate the game against Napoli depending on what the other two games are because we could just say whether we come first or second as long as we're through to the group stages, sorry, the knockout stages, it doesn't really matter too much. So we'll have to weigh up the options there. We started a little flat at the start of today's episode, but it certainly went from this to this very quick after that Spurs game. We did beat Porto, and then we just beat Manchester City. Things are starting to look up on the high. We're now back top two points clear of second position Chelsea and Spurs. City now down in fourth position on 29 points. Great result to finish at the end of today's episode, and I think... That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And I've been Massive Brad. Peace out.